this company a company that's approached you to come down or have you approached them Paul? So it's actually the government oh, that, well. I'm, that I'm actually working with so it's the Department of International Trade and I've worked with them over the past sort of 10 years and they've been absolutely amazing helping me so they've helped me with funding, they've helped me with support, they've helped me with advice um, which has been fantastic so I'm just giving a little bit back today by um, supporting them and by helping to, helping other local businesses in Newcastle and the North East to, to give export and a try. Ground floor window. It's almost like a cultural thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, it was kind of. I think at the time, actually, said that that's he was not shy about going forward. This is what we're yeah. going to do, and it was to like encourage people in the country to. To spend locally, you know. The thing with trade as well is that everything changes on a regular basis. You've got to keep up to speed with things that are, are always changing. Brexit being one of them that's kind of changed things recently. And uh, and that's how I got into it, I fell into it. And then when I left the company that I was working for for eight years, um, I set my own company up and I sort of knew in my mind, I'm going to do export. My company is perceived as a, a big brand in my industry now, whereas 10 years ago it was totally unheard of. Um, and I'm dealing with customers such as Carnival Cruises, Disney Cruise Lines, all the big guys. And, and now that I'm working with them, it's really exciting because my, my goal at the beginning was to work with these guys. I wouldn't have my company if I wasn't exporting. We wouldn't, we wouldn't exist. So. Got any, any takeaways from that little Q&A? Yeah, I thought it went really, really well. It was a really good uh, session and uh, I hope that people that have come along looking to export have taken inspiration and uh, um, to give it a go, so let's just see.